it is true, I'm gonna create my own CTF. So I'm just briefly gonna talk about what I'm gonna do with my own CTF, how I'm gonna create it, and how I'm gonna showcase this for you in some videos so you can learn how to do it yourself. So basically, I'm gonna show you in some videos how you can create your own CTF using Docker. Okay, so basically on if you're on a different operating system, yeah, there are some changes to the software you need to install, but, 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 Docker is really easy to use. You basically don't need to, you only need to do a few commands, you know, so, so easy that I almost cannot say it, but it's really easy, right? So I'm gonna show you how to do different kind of setups to create your own CTF. Now, it's not gonna be a fully fledged run just like try hack me or hack the box. But it's gonna be something you can spin up and, and basically host for a classroom or your friends or three classrooms, you know, just one thing is you need to serve a power. So creating that with Docker, I'm gonna create some videos for you so you can see what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, I'm gonna talk about it. You will see me configuring the Docker containers, you will see me run all different commands, you know, I'm gonna be slow paced about it and, and say like this is this is what I do and you will see me get into trouble, you will see me like, oh, what am I doing? You know, so basically, it's gonna be a blast, you know, my own CTF. I haven't really given a name yet, you know, it doesn't really matter, it's just CTF for, my, for now. So I only so far did a proof, proof concept set up with a Docker container, well, an image that I created as a container, and then I uh, basically um, uh, installed a vulnerable version of sudo on it, so I could do uh, one of the popular sudo vulnerabilities that is also a part of a try hacking room. So I am trying to create some different things I already know, so I, I kind of get started with some, you know, get a foothold on easy challenges. So we there are so many of them to choose from so something like vulnerable ftp server you know bad samba uh, samba configurations you know um uh, vulnerable web server you know uh, it could be bad php version all these kind of different things need to fit into the idea of having a capture the flag so what am i going to use this for well basically I'm a teacher, I'm, a, I'm an assistant professor at my school, and <clears throat> what I really enjoy to do is to develop stuff that I can, you know, give my students so they can learn something great for it. However, I need to do it first. So, this is also why I figured I'm gonna do this for my channel, for you, for my viewers, and, and basically, you can do it yourself. You can follow along with me. There are some things you need to, to have installed. Now, if you're on a Windows, need to have your Docker desktop installed. If you're on Mac, you need the same thing. I'm not sure if it's called Docker desktop for Mac, but it's the same thing, you know. Um, if you're doing Linux, you know, I think it's just called Docker. So that's probably just APT install Docker. I guess I haven't really, you know, looked it up and I'm not really gonna do it on Linux. But you know, the commands I'm gonna be running in, in, the, in, in the command prompt the terminal is gonna be the same as far as I know and the container's gonna be exactly the same. That doesn't really matter, that's the beauty of Docker. It doesn't really matter where you run it, it's gonna run as the same as a container. This is why it's called container creation or you call it virtualization. So really, you know, I, I really hope that you will follow along, you know, I'm gonna, I have so many projects I need to fulfill, you know, my pen testing bootcamp, my own CTF, you know, Docker tutorials, you know, doing my normal hacking stuff. I have so many things, you know, it's just, I just need to, to do some of them and get it out of my system so I can focus on the other parts as well. So as you already know, there's gonna be a blast in the future. And you know, my own CTF, you know, really. So mm, follow along, create your own CTF as well. Tell me what you did. Tell me about your challenges. Show me, you know, create a video, something like that. I'm gonna watch it, I will. So just wanna say, have a really nice day out there and uh, See you back on my channel.